As for you, the one who lives in the shelter of the Most High and resides in the protective shadow of the Sovereign One. I say this about the Lord, my shelter and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For you have taken refuge in the Lord, my shelter, the Most High. No harm will overtake you. No illness will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you in all you do. They will lift you up in their hands so you will not sleep and fall on a stone you will subdue a lion and a snake you will trample underfoot a young lion and a serpent the Lord says because he is devoted to me I will deliver him protect him because he is loyal to me. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him when he is in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him honor. I will satisfy him with long life let him see my salvation.
I'll be reading Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. For from the rising of the sun, even though it's going down, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. In every place, incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. God bless the reading of the word of the Lord. I'm here this time. I'm blessed day po sa bawat isa na nandito sa kasama namin as we worship the Lord. Sabi nga, from the rising of the sun to its setting, uh, we have been worshiped the Lord for quite some time now. And if you're joining us ngayong araw na ito, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're enjoying the presence of God. Amen. Just worship the Lord and we can relax in the presence of God. That's a great thing. So we don't really have to perform well. Dun sa, we, just, we can just be ourselves when we're in the presence of the Lord. We worship you, Father. We honor you this time. And here I am to worship. And here I am to bow. And here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together worthy. And all together wonderful to King, King of 
Saturday. Where is Jesus? Where is Jesus today? I would like to read to us Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 to 13. And it says, But to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, he says, When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now this, he ascended what does it mean but that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. I'd also like to read to us 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, by whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long-suffering waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight souls, were saved through water. There is also an antitype which now saves us, baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God. Angels and authorities and powers having been made subject to him. I would like to share to us uh, this Black Saturday. Today is Black Saturday. And... Um, uh, F. F. Bruce um, once wrote, one may picture a military leader returning to Jerusalem at the head of his followers after routing an enemy army and taking many prisoners. The victorious procession with the captives in the train makes its way up the Temple Mount, preceded by the sacred ark which symbolizes the invisible presence of the God of Israel. Here, Christ is the subject. It is he who ascended. The expression, he ascended, is seen to imply that he first descended. This phrase, the lower part of the earth, has traditionally been interpreted as the abode of the dead. The idea that between his death and resurrection, Christ invaded the abode of the dead and released the men and women of God who from Adam onward had been held fast there, thus leading captivity captive. It is emphasized that the one who gave the gifts is the one who ascended. It is because he ascended that he has given them. Ito po ay napaka-powerful uh, message for us. Nasaan po 
ang Lord Jesus Christ on Black Saturday. Saan siya napunta? And uh, Good Friday, uh, we remember that um, he uh, uh, died on the cross. And um, on Black Saturday, where is Jesus? Where is Yeshua? And this is um, the message here that um, maybe, um, of course, he was already dead. He was buried. And uh, sabi nga po na he was in hell. And yet, kahit po parang negative ito, it is still good news because it means that there is hope in the death of Jesus Christ and even in His burial. Hindi po siya makakapanik, uh, makaka-ascend um, kasi kung hindi muna po siya uh, nakadescend into the lower parts of the earth. And this is what is um, uh, powerful here, that there, there is power in his death and his burial uh, because when he ascended from the dead, um, which we will see the resurrection um, power of Christ um, on uh, Resurrection Sunday, and what people, other people say, um, uh, Easter Sunday, and um, the, this is the time when he ascends um, from from the dead, from the lower parts of the earth, that he is able to give gifts, not only to men and women of the past, but even to us right now, that the one who, uh, who was crucified and the one that who, who who died and was buried, and the one who is ascending from the from the from the grave, uh, is the one who can give gifts to us. Uh, sobra po ibat ibang mga regalo, different kind of gifts, ministry gifts, personal gifts, and um, other forms of gifts that the, that can just be given. Um, when uh, the, the source of it all experienced an ascension from the lowest part of the earth. And so it is emphasized that the one who gave the gifts is the one who ascended. It is because he ascended that he has given them. And where is Jesus today on Holy Week Saturday? Nasaan nga po siya? He's not dead. Although, syempre, alam natin, um, around that time, around... In, on Black Saturday that he's supposed to be dead but uh, maybe uh, in the physical sense he was dead but actually he's not dead he's working wow this is powerful um, he's, he's dead he's in hell or wherever he is he's in the lowest part of the earth and yet he's not dead uh, we hold the tension. We at Mana from Heaven Center right now and celebrate Jesus, JHMT, uh, JHMT celebrate Jesus. On Black Saturday today, we are holding a tension here. Jesus is dead, and yet Jesus is not dead. He is working. He's leading captivity captive. Wow. He is leading captivity or imprisonment or being jailed, um, being, um, being restricted, being limited. He is leading this um, restriction and this captivity, this unfreedom. He is leading them captive. Grabi po. How God can use, um, can, can use the, the power of um, Black Saturday in this situation that um, he is able, the Lord Jesus is able to lead captivity captive and able to deliver imprisoned spirits, which I read to you earlier. Uh, he, was, he is able to, impris to deliver set free imprisoned spirits in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 to 13, and 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. The spirits of those who died before this time were held captive and awaiting release. This is what is happening. This is what happened on Black Saturday and um, Resurrection Sunday. And, and this is also what is happening right now, even as we celebrate Black Saturday today, during this um, Lenten week or Holy Week. Um, 
whatever and freedom that we have as a people or even as a nation or even as a community or even as an organization like JHMT on Celebrate Jesus, to, uh, um, a prayer and worship chain for the Lenten week, Holy Lenten week, um, what we are seeing here is a release from unfreedom. We, our unfreedom is waiting is awaiting release. So naghihintay lang po. We would not want to live in unfreedom. And so today we prophesy freedom from unfreedom. Hallelujah. And this is not possible if there is no uh, crucifixion and there is no burial, uh, there, if there is no fr Good Friday and there is no Black Saturday, of course, there is no Resurrection Sunday. And on Easter Sun Saturday or on Resurrection Saturday, um, um, Jesus set them free. Actually, Easter Sunday po, uh, Jesus um, uh, set them free. He defeated death. And as a result of this faithful work, he gets to bestow gifts to the church. That's why we as a church, not only Mana from Heaven Center, not only uh, JHMT as, um, as a parachurch, uh, but the entire body of Christ, we are gifted because of this gifts that the Lord Jesus Christ is bestowing on us after Resurrection Sunday. Apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for works for service. He worked and has gifted people to work and make know the way to live. Let us give thanks for the faithfulness of Jesus who did this work and for his generosity in giving gifts to the church to unite and equip us. We are free. Malaya na po tayo. Hindi po nangyari ang um, uh, pagpapadala ng ating uh, Panginoong Ama uh, sa kanyang beloved Son, Lord Jesus Christ, to us. Then we will always be unfree. We will always be in captivity. But because of His death, His burial, and His resurrection, we are free. Will we do our part? It's time to get to work. And so today, I would like us to see um, the, um, the photo of the uh, garden tomb. Yeah, can we show this? And so this is one of my favorite uh, uh, sites in, in Jerusalem. Of course, um, there are two sites po that uh, they believe to be um, the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ. But this one is what is uh, close to my heart. Uh, the other one is in the old city. Um, and uh, I respect um, if others uh, see it as the tomb of Jesus Christ. But this one is closer to my heart, as I said earlier, because um, for me, it's more realistic uh, that the Lord was um, here. If you can see it on screen, the Lord Jesus Christ was buried here. And this is also the place where he was resurrected. And um, I pray that um, we can see the power of this process and we can trust the process. There has to be a process even for our life, for our healing, and for our freedom, for our restoration and shalom, that there must be a dying that has to go first, and that there must be a burial, and that there must be a resurrection. And this um, uh, tombstone is a symbol of Black Saturday and also a symbol of um, Resurrection Sunday. Where is Jesus right now? Where is he? Is he in our heart? Or um, is he someone that we do not value at all? Or um, do we really know Jesus? Or dito po ba sa ating kalagitnaan ngayon, meron pong nagtatanong na sino ba ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanyang buhay? At maaring nagtatanong din 
um, kung nasaan nga ba siya? Nasaan ba si Lord Jesus Christ? Ay, baka nga po ang iba, they cannot even say, Lord, they will just say, who is Jesus Christ? I pray that today, even as we take a, a contemplative pause or a purposeful pause, as we even pray and fast today, I pray that there will be so much of freedom that will be released to us. Even right now, I pray that we are receiving this freedom like never before. And it's such a powerful sense of freedom that um, no one can buy this um, freedom. Um, ito po ang reason why the people of Israel had to uh, flee Egypt. They have been, they had been enslaved, they had been oppressed, they had been um, abused <laughs> in that land. And um, it's for freedom that the Lord has set us free so that we can worship Him. And um, today, uh, I would also like to lead us in prayer um, for, um, for the nations, of course. And yet, I would like uh, to read to us um, some prayers. And we pray, God of all, on this day of celebration and triumph, we pause, as Jesus did, to cry for peace in Jerusalem and in the Holy Land. God, bring your peace, especially today and the past days and um, that Jerusalem and Israel has been under terrorist attacks. Lord, bring your peace, bring your shalom, and make us your peacemakers. Make us your shalom bearers and shalom releasers. As Jesus wept over the city, we think of families that weep for loved ones in Beersheba, Hadera, Bnei Brak, and Tel Aviv, and pray for shalom to prevail. God, Bring your peace and make us peacemakers. As Jesus went um, to every place of the city and even entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, as he entered the city and saw Pam waving and Hosannas, heard the Hosannas. May his love and his shalom be in every place of conflict, far away or nearby, on our screens or hidden from view, protect the vulnerable, we pray, God, bring your peace, bring your shalom, and make us your peacemakers. Let us enter the city of God today. And shout, Hosanna to our King. Lord, save us. Let us join the walk toward freedom and follow Christ's path to wholeness and shalom. Let our hearts ache for justice and mercy and weep for peace and freedom. Let us turn our backs on the powers that grasp for control and hallow the one, follow the one who brings life. Let us walk in solidarity with the abandoned and oppressed and welcome the broken and the sick. Let us touch and see as God draws near, riding in triumph toward the cross. Today, 
O Lord God, on Black Saturday, we remember the victory of Pam Sunday. We remember, Lord God, your journey toward the cross, Lord Jesus Christ. And we remember, O Lord God, your journey towards the grave and your tomb. And we remember your journey, Lord God, towards your resurrection and so let the nation philippines oh lord god be blessed by the power of your death burial and crucifixion and resurrection and may she experience shalom oh lord god especially during the presidential elections and may she experience lord god a new beginning oh lord god this month of Nisan, O Lord God. And we pray that Israel, O Lord God, shall also be blessed with your shalom, salvation and shalom in Yeshua's name. We pray, O Lord, that Israel and even other nations will experience, Lord God, the restoration of the tabernacle of David. O Lord, that Jews and Gentiles alike one man in Yeshua will experience, Lord God, your, your, your unity, O oh Lord, your harmony, and even will experience your greatest freedom. And so, Lord, we praise you even for um, blessing, O oh Lord, Russia and the Ukraine and other nations who are, who are in great difficulties because of the COVID-19 pandemic, oh Lord, and even um, those affected by the oil war. We declare that during the Shemitah, Lord God, the Sabbath of the land of Israel, there will be a breakthrough, Lord God, not only for Israel, but even for Shabbat-keeping Philippines. We declare Sh Philippines to be a Shabbat-keeping nation, O Lord, and experience the blessings of Shemitah, O Lord God, that there will be so much of your rest, which is holy, and so much of your uh, relaxation and chillax, so much of your, Lord God, shalom, O Lord, deep and abundant shalom, O Lord, like never before. We pray you that the Philippines and the nations Lord not only Israel will receive the blessings of Shemitah oh Lord God and breakthrough upon breakthrough shall come upon our economy shall come upon our spirituality shall come upon every family of the every family of the nations Lord God families of the earth we praise you and we thank you for this precious time indeed this we pray, O Lord, in Yeshua's name. And all of God's beloved people will say, Amen and Amen. As we end this segment of celebrating the faithfulness of the Lord in our midst and His continued work sa ating pong mga buhay, I would like to read from John chapter 1, verse 14. I'm using the uh, classic Amplified Translation. As I put it all, and the word Christ became flesh, human, incarnate, and tabernacled. He fixed his tent of flesh, lived a while among us, and we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father, Full of grace, favor, loving kindness, and truth. To better explain po itong John chapter 1 verse 14, I would like to share a word, one word lang po before we end this segment. Yung word po na deign. Okay? Uh, spell ko po. D-E-I-G-N-E. D. Dain. Saan po ito makikita? Sa isang, ano lang po ito makikita? Sa classic amplified translation lang di po makikita ito. Sa Luke chapter 1 verse 21 to 25. This is the story of Elizabeth. Sabi po sa verse 25, sabi po ni Elizabeth, Because thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when He deigned to look on me to take away my reproach 
among men. So as we celebrate this Passover, yung word po na date is hindi lang po bumaba o minsan po ang picture ay inaabot tayo ng Panginoon. No, the picture po ng date or yung humility na ipinakita po ng Panginoon uh, showing the picture of the Passover, hindi lang po siya bumaba para abutin tayo, kundi isinagad niya po ang kanyang sarili sa pinakabababang posisyon na sitwasyon para po iangat tayo. Kung tayo po ay nakaluhod, siya po ay dumapa para po maiangat tayo. So as you celebrate this Passover, remember what the Lord did from the very beginning since the time of uh, the fall, ng pagbagsak po ng tao, up to the very present. God is doing the same thing. Inaabot po tayo. The way that He did it with Abraham, inaabot niya po tayo. The way He did it with Israel, and at to this very point, ano man po ang ating pagkakalugmok, ano man po ang ating mga challenges na hinaharap, God is reaching us. Ibinababa niya po ang kanyang sarili para iangat po tayo at para abutin po tayo. Alalahanin po natin ang ginawa ng Ama sa kanyang prodigal son, There was no condition. It was unconditional. Ibinaba niya ang kanyang estado para iangat at muling tanggapin at muling i-welcome po ang kanyang alibughang anak. Sa pagsasara po natin, tayo po ay manalangin. Let us receive the blessing of grace and love coming from the very heart of the Father, which the Lord has fulfilled in our midst. Panginoon, salamat po as we celebrate the Passover, as we continue to honor and give you praise in the celebrate Jesus, celebrate your humility, we celebrate your love, we celebrate your abundance of never-ending, unconditional grace and love for us na hindi po natatapos, Panginoon, na lagi mo po kami inaabot sa kabila ng aming mga pagkukulang sa kabila ng aming pagkakalugmok, Ama, iniaangat mo po kami sa Panginoon. So Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we receive your blessing. At sa mga those who are here, those who are celebrating, those who are watching, let's continue to receive the blessing of the Lord as the Lord has instructed Moses to give an instruction to, uh, to Aaron to release this blessing sa mga Israelites so that they, the Lord Uh, abundance will be upon them. I would like to declare the same. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance towards you and fill your life with this never-ending shalom. In the name of our Messiah, our Lord Yeshua, Amen and Amen. Praise you, Father. We honor you. Lord, we celebrate you. And Lord, we know that you are alive, that you are with us. We celebrate with the nations right now. We celebrate with Israel. We celebrate with the Philippines. For you are alive and you have given us, Lord, a hope, Lord, through your death. It has given us your death and resurrection. It has given us healing restoration and deliverance we praise you father and every nation will sing with us every nation will bow down before you and worship you our lord jesus hallelujah we praise the lord